My name is Marty Lagina. I'm the CEO of an uh, alternative energy company called Heritage Sustainable Energy right here in Traverse City. Uh, we've, we've developed a um, little bit over 100 megawatts of wind farms, three different wind farms. Um, in terms of dollar amount, that's you know, pretty close to a $200 million investment. The, the technology uh, of wind-generated electricity has been evolving extremely rapidly. I mean, the capacity factors and the effic efficiencies of these machines uh, are, are getting better and better and better. And they're to the point now where they are very competitive um, with conventional electrical generation. That wasn't the case just five years ago. You know, to run a small business, you need a small group of all the things a, bu a big business has. You know, you need an engineer or two, I suppose, for what we do. Uh, you certainly need high-quality accountants. Um, you need high-quality clerical staff. Um, you need some middle manager types. And then we, we employ technicians, too, of course. And those are, those are excellent careers. You know, actually, the, the, the men and women who actually go out and run these wind turbines are well-paid. And, um, and they got to be smart because these are complex machines. The reason I like Traverse City, I was 17 years old, maybe 16. And my friend and I took a motorcycle trip around Lake Michigan. And we didn't have, I mean, we ate, we ate a hamburger a day because that's all we could afford. And we came into Traverse City when the whole entrance out here east was just nothing, you know, just the bay. And we just thought, what a beautiful town. I mean, we were young and... Uh, Girls were friendly. It seemed like a great place. It really impressed us, and we were on this little this little adventure all the way around Lake Michigan, and we thought this was the nicest place that, back then. And then, when, so when I got out of engineering school and then I got an opportunity, a job offer from Amico, now BP, to work here, I, I jumped at it. I lived in I lived in Houston for a while. I lived in Denver for a while, and you know, there's there's a lure to the big city, and it's kind of exciting for a while. But this is my kind of place. Yeah. There's a trend in the USA for you know, with all the sort of modern communication, you, the, the people with a, a good education can work, can choose where they work a lot easier anyway than they used to be able to. And so the, they're getting to be kind of um, hubs, I think, of, of um, you know, well-educated people, entrepreneurial types who, who want to go to areas where they want to live. And, and I absolutely think this is one of them.